Hey guys, today's uh, December the 5th of 2018. I want to go over the Aussie dollar using WDGAN price and time technical analysis. Yesterday I had some issues posting a video. I ended up posting it up late. Had some technical difficulties. I blame Mercury Retrograde for affecting my electronics, but we move on. So on my video, last video, I posted that we could have a possible sell-off uh, here, uh, anywhere between, uh, I guess, the third or fifth, and I had a sell signal here. I took it. I think it was 73.85. I wanted to uh, get at the 88, but I, I didn't get filled, so got in market and rode in nice. Somewhere around here, I got out because it was the 50% uh, level wise. There was a lot of support. Uh, I, guess, I guess once it hit here and it was just kind of dancing around at the 30 minute chart, I got out somewhere around here and then wake up in the morning and I see this bad, bad boy kick in a nice little, you know, bear kicker. Uh, well, can't win them all, you know, at least I locked in profit. I'm in the green and it kept continue going down and now it's kind of doing the sideways things here. So we got to see if uh, maybe it's going to do one of these again. Or is it going to push lower or it's going to be like, you know what, head fake, now we go up. So you have to be on alert. Some of the seasonalities are pointing lower, uh, but, you know, we got to see how it goes. But I just want to let you know that it was a successful trade. Um, it came smack in the middle between the uh, third and the fifth. Uh, you know, I thought it was going to be either the fifth or the fourth, but I, I just took this and put my stop up here and it worked out great. So let's uh, let's look at the chart. So we have here our target was hit. Uh, we sold off here, so it was good. This is the channel. We uh, didn't hold the uh, medium line, broke down below it. So you know this right here could be possible support. Uh, it's in the ellipse area, so it, it could be support here too. And then you know it could continue going higher or. If it's going to follow the seasonalities, it could maybe push lower. And this is another possible support here. We hit the 360 uh, in regards to uh, degree. And uh, that's where we're at right now. Let's see if there's anything else I could show you. See cycles right here are um, turning. You see right here it lines up. And it, they bottom out somewhere around here, which is uh, the 20th. So we'll see if it's going to follow this uh, uh, cycle line. Uh, anything else? MACD is still positive, hasn't turned. Uh, but Stokes gave us a heads up right here. And look, it just turned here. So Stokes was giving us a head up. You look at my last video, it was kind of telling you that, you know, watch out, could turn. And a lot of stuff was lining up for a possible you know, swing pivot high. Time clusters right here uh, told us that, you know, it could be a possibility any of these two dates and it, have ended, it ended up being uh, this one right here, the one in the middle, uh, right here, which was the turn, the fourth yesterday. And uh, oscillators are still strong. It's interesting. Prices are going down and the oscillators, you know, slightly higher. So it's still strong and still bullish. It's just that, you know, you're not always going to get it continue going high. You're going to get some little retraces and, and pops up. Uh, lines there, covered that. GAN lines, there's a big support right here on the uh, GAN grid. Whatever that price is at uh, 72.92. Look at here. Let's uh, blow it up a little more. So interesting here, from the swing top of January the 26th all the way to the swing low of October the 20, uh, 1026, uh, you can see that right here we got a cluster of 25%. So that 72.99 is a strong level. Got the 50 here, 50 up here, and the 75. And that's where we're at right here. If we uh, add our square, you can see that we kissed that red line, so it's good support. Take that out. Got our other one here. Uh, can't see. I got too many lines. There's that black line there, but it, it really didn't hit any support there. So those are the two the two main ones I use. The one the one forty four was pretty cool. Well, it's that that green angle pushing down. 
Uh, so we'll see. You know, the balance between this swing high would be the 50. It could go all the way down here and find support at 7,206. You know, it's going to follow the seasonality. So we'll see. Using the 90, uh, it's kind of there, just holding that uh, 72.99 and the 52. Found support right here at that blue line. You see it right there. Uh, so you can see that it's at support. So glad I got out. Got a nice little pop. Uh, and that's it for that. I don't think there's anything else I want to show. Oh, square of nine. Square of nine. Let's see where the squares of nine shows us. Let's get these uh, retracements out. That way we won't get confused. We kind of sold off. It's kind of in La La Land. Uh, the support will be that 72.68. It's pretty far from that. Let's uh, use our, our other one here. 72.79 uh, is 270 degree. Uh, far from that too. Also. And let's see the GAN emblem, the 90 degrees. So it's finding support at the 90 degrees. So it's between the 90 degree and the 120, 7287. And I think that is it for this chart. Let's go to my TOS chart. I got a, a comment on my YouTube channel in regards to the GAN grid that if that's a special indicator, it is not a special indicator. It's something I made by I make my hand I make by hand manually. So I sent you a link. If you want to look at the, the uh, comment where you posted that uh, question, you can look at the video and you can learn how to do the GAN grid on the TOS platform. That's how I do it. It's a manual version. It's not scaled to the chart. So it's, it's going to give you an accurate rep representation from the first impulse wave. That's a theory I learned from MSJ. So uh, let's go through. Uh, so this is where we're at right now, just kind of consolidating, going sideways. And everything just kind of sold off, bottomed out. And let's see uh, if we maybe get a signal, a buy signal to the upside. As of right now, I'm just going to stay on the sidelines and just see uh, what's what the uh, Aussie wants to do. Uh, right here, this is the uh, this is my uh, uh, voodoo lines. And right here, I found support at the uh, 20, 75 percent. Which is at seventy two seventy eight. Yeah. So there's the voodoo lines here. But we'll see. Got a sell signal, but still strong. I wouldn't be surprised if it finds uh, support at the uh, fifty here if it wants to continue selling lower. So let's go through our, tr our little grids here. This is the uh, GAN grid. This is the one by one. Uh, so that's 72.49. We'll see if that holds. We go into the other GAN grid. Uh, there's a big gap here. I think I'm not using this one yet, or I haven't been looking at it that much. Nothing there. Closes up. Channel. We broke out of the channel, so we're kind of hovering out here. Let's see. Trend lines, broke trend lines, couldn't hold it. The original trend line, so that's not that's not good. And somewhere around here. Yeah. I think that's where I got out. Somewhere around here when I hit the 50%. Let me go with the 30 minute. Yeah. It was somewhere around here that I got out, and then this came. And it sunk even lower. So we'll see. It looks interesting. Here's turning green. But anyway, hopefully you like this video. I'll uh, keep you uh, posted on my thoughts on the Aussie. Uh, long term, just to make it clear, I'm bullish. But in between the long term, I'm scalping pops, shorts, you know, scalping. Uh, but we'll see if it, you know, violates key levels. Then we'll... Uh, Reevaluate where we are with the Aussie, but so far right now, I'm thinking the uh, 10.29 is the swing low for this year, and it should trend it should trend higher. I'm gonna sign out. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the alert button. When I post videos, you can check it out. Oh, and another thing, someone asked me if I teach. I don't teach, but if you need help with something, or you're confused, or you need kind of like a mentor, I, I was just thinking about it because I like just posting videos and and just 
showing you my thoughts on what I see on the market using GAN's theory uh, and just show that out there, but not, not teaching, like, you know, making an educational video or anything like that. I normally just post ideas, max 10 minutes, and I'm out. Uh, so, but if you're interested uh, on one-on-one -on -one or whatever, I, I could do that. I'm going to charge because my time is valuable, and we'll figure it out from there. But if you're interested, hit me up on YouTube, and we'll take it from there. I'm signing out.